and we are back <laughs> with another breakdown of my second single, Walk With The Wolf. This is just a part of a series that I'm doing with the new album that I'm releasing where I'm breaking down each song and just kind of opening the project and seeing uh, what it is that I hear and uh, what we have. So I guess we'll start with a little story time with this song that um, I was in my first year of college and in the middle of the night I had this riff in the middle of my, just stuck in my head. Um, Dun 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 dun. And I came up with a fun little um, guitar line. Let's see here if I can find it. Yeah, very simple and uh, I don't know, in, in my head I just wanted to make a real gritty, just like unapologetically rock song that was just, just kind of reminiscent of like a wrestler's walkout theme or something, just really macho and um, what better than the image of a wolf or like a werewolf or something like that. So uh, the song starts off with a little sample right here. just ripped straight from the internet something that you would hear in like a cartoon that's what opens up the song so let's hear it one more time guitar slide and then you hear that The reason I just kept it so simple in the verse is because I kind of wanted it to be like a wolf strutting through the uh, woods, so. It's just a fun, simple little song. There's really not much to report. Um, the vocals were fun to do because I kind of did a layering. Thing. So these are the clean vocals. I made a pact with the pack that'll always buy back. When attack, double track, that band across the map. I did something kind of new for my voice and kind of did like a, add a little rasp in there. <laughs> Just kind of have fun with it. So though the vocal is clean, I am kind of like putting on a little performance. Uh, Teeth gnash to the clash as I dispatch my wrath. But to make it even more gritty, added some effects, just some fuzz to the vocals. So this is the fuzz by itself. I made a pact with the pack that'll always buy back. When attack, double track, that band did cross the map. Teeth gnash to the clash as I dispatch my wrath. those on top of each other so you get a little bit of both. Now the fuzz isn't overpowering, it's kind of like a little undertone. Um... I did a lot with my vocals on this song because I have a track here called Wolfman and that's like kind of like the second voice, the second character in the song. Altogether, it's going to sound like this and then I can kind of like deconstruct what it is that you're actually hearing. So let me play for you what the pre-chorus sounds like. Oops. So yeah, that's here's the vocal part by itself. Yeah, something that people might miss underneath all of that, the very, very basics, um, I'm taking like a deep exhale, like <sighs> very weird, very creepy. And that'll reverse it. And that will lead directly into the chorus. Um, and then there's the growling that I do. So what I do, I just did like a <sighs> like really getting creepy, really getting edgy here. And I'm just lowering the tone. Let's see um, by how much. I transposed it down five uh, half steps. So <laughs> it's fun to kind of hear it all together. Uh, I did the same thing for this. I'm just breathing. <sighs> Very proud of that. It sounds like something other than human. It sounds inhuman, um, like an actual monster. Maybe a little bit embarrassed of this one, but shoot, if we're going to deep dive, we might as well go 
head over heels. So this is a whisper, that thing I pitched down. Yeah, it's, I mean, it could be worse. And then this one might be higher or just like the pitch isn't touched. Beware the wolf man. Yeah. And I panned them opposite of each other. So it sounds like there's multiple voices going on in your ear. Um, and then here's the wolf men, I guess. Uh, just me doing different uh, takes as like this grungy, evil werewolf character, I suppose. Ooh, <laughs> giving me chills a little bit. Okay, let's see. Beware the wolf man. So that's really deep, and that's just like, beware the wolf, blah, blah, blah. just like hamming it up as much as I can. And this is the one I think is the highest. Yeah, I didn't touch that. I lowered everything else, but the most forward one is this one. Beware the wolf man. And you can hear that very clearly. So all together, one more time. Oops. Beware the wolf man. In the chorus. It's all very straightforward. I, I rock out the power chords in the beginning of the song and like kind of have them muted and very simple. Here I just kind of go crazy uh, with the layers. I think these are just the big whole note strums. Yeah. Just the straight chords. And then the rhythm section. In the bass part, I know there's also one of the earliest things that came with the song. Um, waking up in the middle of the night, I logged this down. I remember uh, I was learning musical notation at the time, so I had the pen and paper write out the music notes of what I wanted, and I uh, was very glad that I could like grab a bass and actually get it on a project so I didn't have to read that music anymore. It's crazy what we can do with technology these days. So here's the bass part. Yeah, that little scoop. Did you catch that? So, um, one thing that a lot of people might not catch is also the end here. So it's I walk with the wolves, and the bass is going. Boom, 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 dun 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 dun. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I don't know, I had fun with the bass part. Uh, rock songs are just fun in general. You can just kind of cut loose and just kind of come up with some creative parts. Um, another fun fact with this song is that, I mean, the verse is very simple, right? With the drums, at least, it's just the kick. I mean, the pack. One, two, three, four. Every now and again, I'll have like the most simple fills in the world, but I was having a hard time programming the drums for this, so um, I'm not above confessing that I did just throw on a drummer track to really help guide the direction. I just found a drummer that I liked, and I just picked out a drum kit that I thought fit the most. So um, in this case, I did Smash, which I think is just very loud, kind of metal, very heavy kit. So I did not program that part. So this is just what logic came up for me. And I'm like, yeah, this works. I kind of got to assemble it. If it was more cymbal heavy, if it was more um, tom, like snare heavy and just kind of simple. So that's kind of how the drums came to be. At least the majority of the drums. I took some liberty, especially on the bridge on some stuff, which I'm excited to share the bridge with you. But yeah, let's uh, check out this interlude. So this is going to introduce the lead guitar. I'm 
gonna mute the vocals and just kind of isolate that track. Yeah, um, I feel like I'm saying this a lot, but there's like some little small intricacies that go into the song that make it sort of unique from other songs. So if you look up here, this is the tempo uh, track right here. So the verse is in a different tempo than the chorus. So in the pre-chorus, it actually gets faster. Just, just where I wanted the verse to sit and where I wanted the chorus to sit was different and just didn't feel right having a faster verse or having a slower chorus. So I had to uh, adjust, which kind of made the uh, guitar solo in this part hard. You can see I spliced it up pretty hard to make everything fit where it needs to be. So from the chorus, the interlude between chorus one and verse two, it slows down and you can kind of hear that in that guitar part. Here we go. You can hear it in the da -na -na -na. <laughs> how it has to sort of shift over. So even though it's a very simple song and structurally just like pretty sound, nothing crazy going on, uh, there's like some little things behind the scene that kind of make it unique and fun. So let's check out verse two now. Just some symbols in there, the hi-hat. To make it more dynamic, more fun, more loud. Now it's my greatest asset. Yeah, I got rid of like the big spooky voices, and but I did keep the breathing to kind of remind you, like, oh yeah, there's like something demonic, or there's something like, there's a fiend, there's a heathen on the loose. It's my greatest asset. And chorus. <laughs> I guess there is like something interesting I can show. There's even more layers on the chorus because I really wanted to beef it up and bring it home. So one is doing this. One is doing this. It's just a walkie-talkie. <laughs> that's that's what it sounds like. Uh, very, very muffled, but it just kind of adds more depth to the vocals, makes it more uh, grungy, more dirty. And the bass line comes back. You can hear it back there. And I did program the drums on this part. So as you can see, I kind of do like a little marching tone. Like marching okay, drum line style. Just like we're on the football field or something. The rhythm guitar's tucked back there. I mean, I think that's just a fun little interesting part. Um, I did bounce a MIDI file to do that solo part. Um, so as you can see, this is the file that I used. I found the one that sounded closest to the tone of my electric that you see on the wall right over there and um, <clears throat> was able to come up with this fun little just walk up. And ending with an actual guitar. To me, it sounds pretty seamless. I mean, like, it's pretty straight. But you can't really differentiate it from when the real guitar comes in. The other one might be a little bit brighter, but I was really happy with how that uh, turned out. Um, the bass is also kind of following the uh, drum kit. Boom, boom. 
we have the lead guitar playing the whole time, which kind of makes it different from the other choruses in the song. Ramps up the energy. Just back, back to back. something to add later on in production. There's just like so much tucked behind the scenes in this song. Like there's even that wolf howl over here. I feel like upon first listen, you know, people might miss it, which kind of makes the song fun because the more you listen, the more things you discover. But there is like a little crowd here uh, singing with me. Let's see. I'd be too embarrassed to probably do it isolated, but here's the little chorus, little ensemble that I got. So you hear like, I walk with the wolves, and I walk with the wolves, and I walk with the wolves. You just, <laughs> anything to make it sound like there's a whole group of people yelling it with me. And the wolf man comes back. I walk with the wolves. <sighs> just kind of add a little screaming effect. Um, let's see. We have the breathing track open. I walk with the wolves. Yeah, just layers of that that make it sound nice and spooky, nice and airy, nice and full. I walk with the wolf. So I'll do a high whisper, I'll do a low whisper, I'll do a normal one. And let's see these other takes where I lower my voice. Um, I walk with the wolf. <laughs> sounds like I need to clear my throat out or something. And then this one is the most Actually, no, that one I just played is the most forwards. So that's interesting. This one goes. I walk with the wall. Yeah, just super villain energy. Half time. Shout out to my friend Kelsey. She was in love with this little bark at the end, so I might as well solo it for her. So it's two tracks. I got a growl here that goes. <laughs> and when it goes like, that's when I throw in the bark. And it sounds real natural uh, overlapped with each other. So together one more time. Perfect way to end the song. And speaking of end the song, the one last thing I'll share about, there's one track that isn't in the entire song to the very end. So you see here, I have a tremolo tweeter kind of um, bass tone going on. So um, if you listen very closely, it's very deep and it's very prominent in the halftime at the end. <laughs> Very muddy, boom, 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 boom. And I did that for a very specific reason. Before I get into that, here's it soloed, so you kind of can hear it fade in. <laughs> very tucked back. Just dirty, disgusting, and that is a tone that comes in the song on the album next. So I introduce that so it will come in and um, transition seamlessly, um, as well as just kind of really drive home like <clears throat> the rocker, the <laughs> heaviness, the muddiness of the track in general. So yeah, that is Walk With The Wolf from start to finish. Uh, there's a lot of things behind the scenes that I may have missed. Um, a lot of things that I did. I made it simple, but here and there I would add things that make it more interesting and more fun, whether it is a sample of like a wolf or a dog, or if it's just playing with a drum part, or if it's layering my vocals that make it sound like a demon or a werewolf, you know. Um, this was a fun, very chill, lax track to kind of throw together and uh, really showcases the rock side 
of my music and there will be more to come in future videos as I break these down. So thank you so much for your support and watching through this video and I will catch you later.